Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a good start of the week so far. And uh, welcome to this new video on Bitcoin, on the markets also a little bit, as, I, uh, as I'd like to say. If you know what Bitcoin is doing, then you also know what the market is doing. Um, now, the circumstances in, in, in the markets have improved a little bit. So, so if you look at the markets right now, there's coins that outperform. Right now, Solana is doing quite well, or its, or it's ecosystem. You, you have coins like WIF, Gito. Bendel quite good, Fetch is gaining momentum, etc. Um, but still, Bitcoin leads, all right? So that's why we're, we're doing these daily updates. And we'll talk about what's going on right now. Now, um, purely fundamentally, before we get to the technicals, and, and to be fair, if you watch my middle of the day market update yesterday, so if you don't know, um, I cover the markets and, and what's going on in a particular day almost every day, and I, I upload that. And the situation is still very similar as what we talked about yesterday. Um, which is interesting. We'll get to the we'll, we'll we'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, but first of all, fundamentally, if you look at the market circumstances right now, everything is still quite bullish, right? Uh, so this is the Russell 2000. I would say that is still bullish. The S and P 500 has been able to hold up very very well yesterday, and it's also trading higher right now in in pre market. So it seems that we're holding this breakout, uh, which is very bullish, right? Because the correlation right now between Bitcoin. And the S&P 500 or the stock markets um, is the highest it's been for a long period of time. So if, if this is bullish, um, then that is very bullish for Bitcoin as well. And then we see the dollar strength index, um, which bounced a little bit yesterday. That's bearish for crypto. Uh, now also bearish again, uh, which is bullish for crypto. Right. And it's, it's getting closer and closer to potentially getting some sort of a major bearish breakout here, which would be very bullish for crypto. So fundamentally... I have to be very bullish on, on, on Bitcoin here and crypto. Technically, I'm still uh, cautious for some sort of a pullback. And that's also what I said yesterday. Yesterday, the market looked quite bullish, right? We, we, we were trying to break above that level right here, um, this, uh, th this red zone right here. And I also think that's on the short term. So, so this is very short term. That's why I'm doing daily analysis. Um, long term, I'm bullish, just so you know. Um, but that could also mean we, we drop back down to 60,000 um, before going up again. That would still be bullish, in my opinion, if you if you really zoom out here. Um, it would still be very bullish, by the way. Um, but short term, my main my main kind of uh, thought is, all right, we're, we're going up to that level at 63,800, 64,000. Can we actually break above that? Because if we're able to break above that, then we can still see some sort of a move into 65 and 66,000 before ultimately getting that pullback. A pullback will always happen, right? So, so even if you even if you go back to the to the most bullish of times right here, we also still had pullbacks. So it's a matter of time be, be, before we get that. I don't think we are as bullish as we were right here, for example. Um, so it's a matter of time before we get that. But if on the short term we are able to get that breakout here, so that's the main thing I think you need to watch. Can we actually break above sixty four thousand and sixty three thousand eight hundred uh, this time around? If the answer is yes, if we can um, if we can confirm the breakout while I make my camera a little bit uh, warmer, um, if we can confirm the breakout, we're going up there, all right? It could be a liquidity spike, like we also saw at the market opening on, on Monday, Monday morning. Uh, could also be so, something a little bit more sustained. Um, but, um, but that's the main thing I'm watching for now. Now, what I've always said in the last couple of days is that I thought it was most likely we would not break out here and that we would first see some sort of a pullback like this or potentially like this um, before going higher again. Honestly, at this point of time, I think it's pretty 50-50 and especially with the pre-market trading higher and there just being a lot of bullish momentum in the markets. Something I don't like a lot is that the volume is dropping down here. That's, that's not great. Um, but what is true, and uh, let me show you that real quick here, is that if you look at the liquidity, there is a lot of liquidity to the upside as well. Here at 65,000, there's a ton of liquidity, more than to the downside. Um, so I'm pretty neutral here, and I'm almost even leaning towards getting that spike up before getting the pullback. So those are my thoughts. L l let's just say that's my most likely scenario, all right? Uh, but those are my thoughts. In general, be careful, especially if we haven't broken them off that level at 63,900 uh, yet. Um, but that's kind of what you need to know for now. I'll be back uh, later today with another uh, with another update on the markets. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.